Jared back again and welcome to another episode of NHL 21 Franchise Mode with your Seattle Wizards. All right, guys, let's just jump into it here. So we are on the brink of a, another playoff series. All right, so uh, we ended off the season with 105 points, I believe. We're fairly dominant, over 50 wins, not bad. And we are starting the season off against the Ducks. Uh, at the end of last episode, I did view the lines. It's going to be fairly easy to look once again. Let's just take another quick look. We only have the one uh, Trevor Zegras here. It looks like Actually, I don't know which one it is. I really don't know. I think the one I made is probably the one that is absolutely destroying, but they're both there somewhere in the world. Um, so that's we who we are up against. Let's take a quick gander at the defense there just so you guys can see. Once more, we went through this at the end of last episode. I do want to see who's scratched. Any big names that are scratched? There's the other Trevor. Aha! I knew he wasn't traded. And Ryan Paling's down here as well. Interesting they don't have him playing. Um, and Skylar Healy, someone related to my Healy, who knows the f forward there. All right. Um, so let's just jump into it, guys. I am recording this back to back with the other episodes. So hopefully my voice will hold out through this. Um, I'm not going to simulate up that day. I have a busy weekend ahead of me, guys. So I have to do this right back to back. All right. Let's get these first four, at least these first three games simmed here and see how we do. Mm hmm. Nice. Oh, OK. So uh, two big wins and then a loss. Can we win this game? Get it done in five? Possibly. So we're going to sim this one. See if we can get her done in five, guys. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Feeling pretty good. All right. First period. One to one. Need a rider. But McGinn gets one on uh, them. And we get two. Shane Wright and Stanton Our big boys coming up sharp let's get this guy going here i'm looking for the button i need to press play on almost i didn't want to sim too fast all right 29 to 17 shots we are basically doubling up the shots third liner greb what a dude what a dude yeah we are basically doubling up on them yanis is gonna put them away in five we take out the anaheim ducks absolutely fan bloody fantastic olsen oh I think that was on a short handy. Yeah, it was a short handed goal. Good Lord, you guys. Six to one. Absolutely destroyed. 41 shots. Peppered. Peppered him. Elvis, I'm so sorry, my friend. You've been peppered. Oh, that's amazing, guys. All right, let's see who we are up against next. Who we are up against next. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ours is done. Let's go down to the 24th and see who we are going to be facing off against here. They're still playing, are they? Come on, finish up your teams here, guys. Looks like we are up against the Sharks. Let's go see what their lineup looked like. They didn't have quite as dominating a season as we did, but it's, it really is the entirety. Oh, it looks like the Canucks got uh, forced out by the Sharks. Interesting. Very. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let's go take a look at their lines, though, and then we can uh, do some running around here um so i'm looking for if i go to the right team here san jose sharks all right so they've got uh televinen hurdle and william nylander wow so hurdle's the only one there that's actually from their team as of right now jean gabriel Peño, uh pajo is still there he now has an exact talk not top nine potential we have Derek Steph stefan still an 81 overall pretty good and shane bauer who I'm interested that they have uh, Stefan in their third line and then drop down this guy. Wow, Brady Kachuk down on the third line, and he's listed as a third liner. Ooh, that one year left. I wonder what his contract is next year. There would be a player that would be nice to have on your third line here, eh? Only 28 overall, and uh, Dubé as well, third line checker. Pretty uh, decent third line they have down there. They have Aya Follow and Connor Brown. Wow, they have a... Uh, a few of those uh, senators on that team, strangely enough. And then Ghoul uh, Novechkin here, 25 overall, two way. Not bad. They have Ryan Merkley, McGilney. Not terrible. They actually have uh, a strong pair of right hand defensemen there. Not terrible at all. Now, this could be somebody that we go for. Ryan Merkley. What does your contract look like? Not terrible. 
if we wanted another defenseman to play, are you second pairing your top four? I think our top four is kind of set. I do believe that our top four is set. We have other people coming up to take a, take a spot there once we uh, get rid of Orensky. Although we don't really need to next year, but we'll see. We will see what we have to do with the draft here. Let's take a look at their goalies. They have Samsonov and uh, Barry. Not bad. Two medium elites, I'm guessing, right? An exact elite and a medium elite. These guys are set for the next few years, and they are going to be a challenge here, guys. They are absolutely going to be a challenge. Well, let's uh, jump in there and uh, get simming. All right, let's get these uh, first four games out of the way. One win. Uh, Baron has been injured with a concussion. Um, I think we're going to get him back relatively quickly here. So let's take a quick gander. I think everything there is fine. It's going to be left-handed defenseman. Let's throw Ghost in there. Doesn't particularly matter. Healy's an 80. Yeah, I think we're good. All right. We are going to need somebody in the future. Or our second or first line if we get rid of Winsky. That's in the future. Why are we why are we talking about that right now? That's in the future. All right, two wins, three wins. Hoo hoo hoo. We are a powerhouse here, guys. Uh yeah, it's fine if they're both sim. That's fine. We're gonna jump in here. All right, are we gonna finish? Are we gonna do a queen sweep here, guys? Queen sweep? Nothing in the first period. Out shooting them 16 to 4, though. In the second period, they come back. Merkley and Kachuk Gebs, grabs there, gets one on them, but not enough to fully shut them out. Come on, boys. Let's tie this back up. Let's just shut the door here. Let's just shut the door on these guys. Get one in them. Come on, power play. There we go. Our big franchise forward right from front of the net just roofs it on Samsonov. Come on, boys. Put these guys away. Let's get ourselves a little bit of a rest before we go to the conference finals. I'm feeling good. Oh, they get a late power play there. Oh, we are into the overtime here. Are they going to? Ah, oh, Pajo. Heartbreaker. Heartbreaker. That's fine. We can just move on here. We can move on. Let's get ourselves up here. We've only lost two games, guys. Come on. It's not that big of a deal. Let's get in here. Can we uh, finish this one off? Sim game. We have three more chances to call it guys here so we should be okay at least i'm i should not get uh, myself a little bit too uh set on us winning here <laughs> all right quinn by um quinton byfield gets one for us and we come back with two more but they get one on wallstead i'm thinking that we should be able to hold them off but let's cross our fingers stanton what a man four to one insurance goal oh but dube giving them some life Fairly even on the shot count. Ten minutes left. Oh, ho, 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 ho. there is another one. Both of them from above that right circle. Simulation pause for some reason. Oh, the reason is that we scored. That's why. There we go. They're pulling the goalie, I'm assuming, but it's not enough. We take them in five games. Absolute dominance performance by the Wizards. These guys are getting pretty good, aren't they? Getting pretty good. Let's see who we are going to face in the conference finals. I feel like it might be the Winnipeg Jets. They had a fairly dominant season, the beginning of the season at the very least. Uh, they got a little bit, they teetered off a little bit. I don't think they quite made 100 points, but they're still doing pretty, pretty well. Let's take a look at our guys here. I see 17 points for Dante. That's pretty awesome. Let's see player stats here. Yeah. Dante McGinn, all three of these guys. I think this is our our first line there. They are absolutely wrecking face. Shane Wright also putting that puck in the net. That's absolutely awesome. Uh, Hoglander is not having as uh, good of a uh, playoffs here. Neither is Olsen. But they're still putting the puck in the net. They're still doing good. Ghost has gotten one point in his game that he's played, which is nice to see. Everything else is doing just fine. Oh, I do want to see how our goalies are doing has he played all of them wallstead are you uh playing all your games he's played all of them 9.26 goals against average whoo uh save percent average basically under a two goals against average absolutely wrecking face let's go see what winnipeg looks like guys i'm assuming their team is looks it looks vastly different from what they did before i'm not looking at the right thing there we go 
always pressing the wrong buttons, guys. All right, Winnipeg Jets. All right, they've got uh, Vasilene. Don't even know who you are. Should probably. Doing pretty well. Cole Perfetti, Nikolai Ehlers, uh, Ludwig Anderson, who is a low elite second liner. He got a lot of points. Um, Dubé as our second line center. Oh, look how strong they are down the center, you guys. Sam Bennett must be built largely off of stack growth. Kubalik is doing pretty well as that power forward. They're pretty strong, guys. They've got themselves five elite wingers, three elite centers, and then this guy. <laughs> then that guy. Let's take a look at their scratch before I run away. Yeah, I mean, the fact that they got this guy. Ah, he's depth, though. Maybe. They actually don't have any defensemen scratched, strangely enough. Uh, looking at their defense, they got Chikrin. They've got an okay defensive core. Let's just put it that way. They're okay. They're, uh, there's, there's no stars there. And there's no stars in net either. So outside of their very, very strong winger core and center core, just their forward core, they're a little bit average. So we should be able to take advantage of their averageness. Let's see what we can do against these guys. All right, let's see how this goes down, you guys. All right, let's get these first three games simulated. How are we going to do? Uh, Stanton here has been injured until the 22nd. Ouch. Not OK. All right, so what am I going to do here? I think I'm going to probably do that. Move you over. Move you up. Move you over. And let's throw in Lindell for a little while. I think that's as good as I can make it. Uh, Quincy. Nope, Quincy, you're staying where you are, my friend. Um, He is a right wing, so let's actually do that because this guy actually is a center. And 86 overall center is nothing to sneeze at. So uh, throwing him on the wing is probably a better idea. All right, um, we still win that first one. I'm going to leave the uh, the scouting as it is. We've lost 2-1-1. Let's see how we do in this fourth game. We win. All right, how about the fifth game? It's a win, guys. All right, so we are on our way to the Stanley Cup Finals. If we can win one of the next two games, let's get this guy simmed and see how we are going to do. I'm hoping that we are going to have our... Uh, Top line center there back for our last series. If we can get there, two to two, Sam Bennett, Anderson, Yanis, and Hoglander. Whew, we're out shooting them a little bit. Second period. Oh, they come back, guys. They come back. Come on, boys. Let's put these guys away. I do not want to be coming in. Shane Wright coming up big in the third period, right from above the hash marks there. What a dude, Quincy. Come on, dude. What a dude. <laughs> How many times can I say dude in the same sentence, guys? I feel like we are going to the Stanley Cup Finals, guys. Oh, this is going to be awesome. There we go. Sim complete. Absolutely fantastic, guys. I'm so stoked on this. Absolutely amazing. I think this is going to be our second time in the Stanley Cup Finals. I could be wrong. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but... I'm feeling good. I'm feeling so, so good about this team, guys. I'm feeling like we're going to be okay. Oh, I was the one saying that. No, no. I said last episode that these guys had our number. And look who we are facing in this next round. Oh, no. I'm going to leave Quentin there. So uh, Harold Olsen was up there before. But I'm going to leave Quentin where he is. Feel okay about it. Uh, and then Lendell, you're gone. Stanton, get yourself back in there, my friend. There was a reason why I won and there wasn't there. There was indeed. We're doing it. He's going to keep uh, getting Shane right. Those kind of points. All right. Let's see what this uh, New York team is going to look like. Yanis has 23 points. I'm not even going to look. I just want to look at the view lines. See who we are up against here for our final push. New York Rangers, how are you guys doing? A 92 overall Lafiniere, a 90 overall Logan Brown. 
Wow, he must be quite built off of stat. And then we got an 89 overall chit, uh, Chittle? Chittle? Philip Chittle? Chittle? I can, can never remember. I can never pronounce his name properly. A two weary with Kako and Panarin, who's probably slowly t tapering off. We got uh, Thick Richie down here. We've got Jack uh, Sudnickus, I think. How you pronounce his name? We've got a Shanahan here. Ooh, nice. Um, so they've got a pretty decent team here, you guys. Oh wow, look at his defensive awareness. Oh, wow, this guy's so weirdly built. Ninety-nine overall offensive awareness, but not seventy-six overall passing. What a weird, weirdly built dude. I don't know about that. Um, ooh, their defensive core is not great. Ooh, I think we might have got them on the oh, if they beat me with Ian Scott. I will rage. They have a 70 overall backup goalie, you guys. It was a low backup potential. If they beat me with this goalies. All right. We got to go to guys got to talk to our team. Ian Scott's in net. Dante? Devin? Devin. Devin. Ian Scott's in net. Hey, hey, hey. Mar Marek. Shane. Harold. <laughs> Nils. <laughs> Valtelli, Quinton, all of you guys, just put the puck on net. Just, just put the puck on net. Okay? You hear me? Just, just put it on net. We should be fine. Okay? We should be fine. Ugh. <sighs> Please, oh, please let us just be fine. Um, never mind. Think of that. We didn't. We, we used to, be able to get five down there, but we don't anymore. That's fine. All right, guys, let's jump into it. Feeling good, guys. I'm feeling good. Except for my throat. My throat's feeling a little bit raw. Done a lot of shouting. All right, let's get this thing over with here. Five to one win. Another win. Ho, ho, ho. Come on, guys. Three wins. Oh, we have three chances, guys. We have three shots to win the cup. I'm feeling good, guys. I'm feeling good. Yeah, we're going to send both of them. Now, I just want to remember how I get out of here. How do I jump in? Options. Okay, it's in options. Okay, there we go. Okay. Whoo! 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 I was, uh. Can I not jump back? Oh, shoot, you guys. Can I not jump back? Oh, we can. Oh, I scared the crap out of myself there, guys. All right. Uh, I thought it might sim the game without me. All right. Let's get this first period simmed. We are up one to nothing out shooting them 15 to eight. Second period. Lafreniere comes back. All right. The reason I did that, guys, is I want I want to be able to get in there and actually see us lift our first cup. If that is what is going to happen. Either way, let's sim it up here a little bit. Uh, we're holding them off. Come on, guys. We are out shooting them by a lot. But Lafreniere is like, I do not care. We're putting the puck in. Come on, boys. Do not let it go down this way. They cannot. Thank you, Marcus. Good gosh. They cannot be holding off that strongly. Let's slow this up a little bit. Get ourselves to the last few minutes of play here. And Logan Brown. Heartbreaker. And they get a power play in Lafreniere. Never mind. We're not going in to sim this one, guys. Yep. 48 shots. 48. Ian's like, I, man, sometimes I hate this game, guys. Sometimes I absolutely despise this game. There is no way that a 78 overall goalie should be stopping 48 shots. Uh, he wasn't actually injured. There is no way he should be stopping 48 shots. That should that just shouldn't happen. It shouldn't happen. Uh, let's get ourselves simmed in here, guys. Yeah, that, that enrages me. I have to admit that does enrage me. All right, first period. Saducus here. And second period, nothing. 
All right, third period. Let's get this guy simmed. Come on, boys. They're uh, they're evening out the shots this time, so it's not as lopsided, but we should still be scoring on this goalie, guys. Nick Ricky, come on, guys. Come on, get that puck in the net. Seriously? There is no way this should be happening. I'm so enraged. Stupid Sim. Thank you, Harold. Thank you, Harold. And we're not able to tie it up. We have just been forced into a game seven by Ian Scott. I'm mad about it, guys. Mad about it. Come on, boys. Come on, please. Please, not these guys. These the New York <laughs> New York Rangers cannot be the villain here. They cannot. There we go. <laughs> My big boys are like, screw you, even Ian Scott. We're putting the puck in the net. Giannis, I think that's a hat trick for him. Let's get this simmed a little bit here. Let's get ourselves in. They better not come back for this, guys. We are absolutely dominating this game. Ian Scott is letting in one goal for every three for the most part here. It's a little bit more lopsided than it usually is, and that's good. That is good. All right, over 30, go over 30 shots. They've come back, but I don't think they're going to be able to get four goals in this short of amount of time. Absolutely glorious. We're oh, they came back for one. All right, let's slow this down. A little bit more. We're going to go in for the last minute and a half. We're going in for the last minute and a half. We're just going to watch. We're just going to watch. Uh... Uh, can I just watch? Are you going to make me play? Yes, you are. Okay, but I cannot go in there. Sorry, guys, I never do this. <laughs> uh, absolutely never. All right, I will uh, start here when we actually get in the game here. Well, I guess we're actually playing the game here, guys. I was not expecting. I was trying to figure out how to not play the game, but I couldn't. So uh, I guess we're going to be on the ice for the end of this game here. That's fine. Seattle's moving it into the offensive end. Shot redirected. Oh, hey, we got a goal. I mean, we were going to win anyway. I'm not uh, horrified this is going to be the way we do it. But uh, hey, at least you guys can actually see this, the jerseys and stuff here. <laughs> oh, man. And you see our uh, our little uh, mascot there is also pretty awesome. Oh, they had Stu in there. Oh, no, we probably uh, made them pull Scott there. That's probably what happened there. Well, Yes, we are. We have not met Lord Stanley. Come on, boys. There it is. Win the Stanley Cup. Got ourselves a trophy earned. Absolutely fantastic. There goes our captain. Finally, guys. Took seven years, but we finally made it to the Stanley Cup Finals and finally won that trophy. But you know what time it is now, guys. Now it is dynasty time. Time to get that dynasty going. Hoglander, Stanton. Sorry, guys. Sorry, laughing here. It's probably laughing here there. Oh, God. These, 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 these jerseys are just so hideous. All right. Can I uh, scroll forward? Through this, this a little bit. Maybe they'll enjoy it in time, but right now it's empty. Will they? Uh, if I hold skip, will it skip the entire thing or just this? Stanley Cup champions and the runners up. Can you appreciate? I'm a little bit scared. They're going to skip the entire no, thing. I I oh, it did skip the whole thing. It's a uh, kick in the pants to get this far and come out empty-handed. Oh man, I'm so mad. Oh, I've made a terrible mistake. I'm sorry, guys. We're going to win the Stanley Cup a bunch of times. That's that's a rookie mistake on my part. That is a complete and utter rookie mistake on that part. We did not get to see the first time that the boys lift the Stanley Cup in the air. Hopefully, uh, you guys will forgive me for that. Apparently, I just don't know what I'm doing. Apparently, I just don't know what I'm doing. All right. Well, there we go, guys. It took seven years, but we finally won Lord Stanley's Cup. Let's get ourselves up to the draft here. I think it goes to right there, right? Um, hopefully that is the correct day. We'll see. It might actually be Stanley Cup with. Oh, wait, we won the Calder, too. Hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, looks like Detroit got the first. Pittsburgh went up with Arizona all up to the second. Wow. Um, all right. So we are going to be using the 31st pick, obviously. But we do have some stuff to throw around. Now, do we need a left wing? 
The answer is kind of. Because at some point, Nils Hoglander is going to lose his stat growth. So Woodworth would be an interesting pickup. And it would be a good use of uh, Zach Wierenski's potential. Now, the other thing we would be looking at, because our pick is going to be roughly in this realm. Is there anything up here that we really want? I think. I think we're going to see if we can get one of these two guys. I think that's my push. I think I'm going to push for it. We'll see if they want it. If they don't want it, they don't want it. If they do, they do. Because Zach isn't going to be fully in, like fully important. Uh, view retired players first, though. Let's see. Alex calls it quits. So we could have grabbed him. 72 overall. What did you get there? He still had the millions. Uh, I want to see your full career stats, my friend. Let's see what he did there, guys. Oh, why am I looking at that? I can see his full career stats right here. Got over 1,000 goals, guys. 1,800 points in his entire year. Jacob Vorchek, also great career. Jamie Ben, amazing career. John Carlson, Evander Kane, almost a thousand points for Evander Kane. Victor Hedman, also a fantastic career. All these guys are pretty awesome. Jeff Skinner, <laughs> oh dear, oh that contract. I wonder what he actually looks like at the end of this. Let's see how he did. Oh man, they just absolutely wrecked his uh, potential here. Absolutely wrecked it. He got 60 points for a few. Ah, he was doing OK. He did OK. He jumped back a little bit, jumped back a little bit. This is like even more points. Than he's actually going to get this year, but he jumped back a little bit. Uh, Ekman Larson, lots of awesome players here. Zami Gord. Oh, and uh, Andrew Shaw called it quits. So we traded him away and then he called it quits. And so did Michael Furlan. So all of our grinders are calling it quits. Let's take a look at goalies. Any big names? Hopi. Man, did you guys see Holpe's windmill save on what was that Sunday this week? Oh, last week. Oh, absolutely ridiculous. Uh, Kemper, Francois and Forsberg are your big names there. Well, Forsberg, basically it's Holpe and Kemper. Kemper, I, I'm going to say Kemper's awesome, but Holpe calls it quits. Both they had fairly similar uh, goals against average. But I mean, when you look at the fact that Holpe played almost twice the amount of games. He's a big dude. It's a bit. It's that's that's a that's a big dude. Hmm. All right, let's sim ourselves to the draft. It's already still doing it. Um, Kadri is now a coach. Uh, we are losing out on one coach in uh, Burnaby. And then if we go down here. Uh, what are this? Oh, that's that must be a, somebody else. Uh, what are we? We are Seattle and I'm not seeing a Seattle. No, we're good. We should be fine. OK. So Seattle's fine, but we are losing a coach elsewhere. I'm not going to do any um, interviews. Let's just jump into this draft and see if they uh, want to get rid of it. So neither of them want to. Let's see how much we have to push for this. If they will accept Zach and our first, which is basically a second. If they will accept Zach and a first, I'll try for it. They don't want him. We have to take somebody back. I would be willing to let go of the goalie as well. Um, let's take this guy possibly. If we're going to try it with this first. Okay. Well, there we go, guys. People are going to be mad at us. I'm so sorry, you guys. We got rid of Zach. He wins a cup with us, but we are about to get a power forward in the like Milan Lucic, friendly but keeps to himself. All right, there's also a chance to get this guy. They're both friendly but keep to themselves. I think we're going for the power forward, guys. I think we're going for the power forward. Now, he's age 17 as well. He was on the Vancouver Giants. I know this might be a bit of a bad pick, but we have so many people to put the puck in the net already. Power forwards are a little bit harder to come by. I'm going for them. 80 overall. I don't mind. I'm going to go back. Actually, you know what? Let's make this pick first and then I'll go back just to see what everybody else looked like. I probably should have done the, for the top 10 there instead of just doing what I did. We have this guy right here. Uh, Chandler Keen. Join the team, dude. What a pick right there. All right, let's go back to round one. 
Um, yeah, you know what? It wasn't that off. It was not that off. Let's see what he looks like. He is pretty decent puck skills, pretty decent shot. His physical category is okay. His skating category is okay. His offensive awareness and his passing is similar. I think he's going to be absolutely fantastic. Let's take a look at the sniper here. Yeah, actually, he's very similarly built to the sniper. So there is that. And then this two way guy is just pretty rounded out there. We have a DFD who's pretty sick. And then we drop off to some uh, top sixes. Although this guy, not bad for a top six. And then a high top six is pretty sick. Ooh, Calder. Look at this boy. Not bad. Yeah, and then that basically tops uh, drops off after that. A lot of top fours, top sixes. Do we have any steals of medium as elites as we go along? Not that I can see. It goes to top nines and top sixes pretty fast. Let's just get ourselves up to our next pick here. I'm not going to try and uh, jump forward too, too much. I'm going to pick in place as much as possible. We have a possible medium elite here. Uh, let's just see. So that guy is at 90 overall, and he's the best uh, rated guy out there. I'm assuming he's a top six. That was the last pick of the uh, draft. I'm going to have to go all the way through. Let's see if there's actually anybody, any steals here. Some uh, top fours. There's a low elite there that we missed out on. A low top four. Another low, uh, no, a medium elite defenseman there. Ooh, that's a, that's a steal there. Another me a medium elite goalie there that we probably could have drafted up for. Drafted up for, and then a low top nine. Oh well. You snooze, you lose. That's just the way that it works sometimes, guys. All right, so we've got a potential low top six there. That's probably what we're gonna go for. Yeah, why not? Is what it is. There's a chance that he jumps. He, he, there's a chance that he becomes a uh, low elite. Probably not a big one. I'm not even going to go back and see. Not even going to go back and see. We'll see in the future. We'll see in the future what it looks like. And then this is a pick that is from somebody else, I think. So we actually will be able to see what this guy looks like. Um, We got some low elites. Now this goalie. I'm going to go for the goalie. Back up. Back up. <laughs> sometimes you just know, guys. Sometimes you just know. All right, let's uh, continue to just pick off the board. We have a uh, medium top four here. Not bad. I'm going to say yes to you. Not bad at all. At 50 overall, obviously, is a little bit garbage, but that's fine. And we've got a potential low elite here that I'm obviously going to try. He's a potential grinder, too. Again, I don't know what he is, but I'm just going to leave it into the end of the sixth round. What do we got? Another potential medium elite in goal there. Sure. Sure. Why not? Don't even know what you are. <laughs> Don't even know. Man, that is the worst thing about being in your uh, in the Stanley Cup champs, eh? You can't see what you're getting. All right. Um, Not much there. We've got a uh, two tick medium there. Let's see if there's any um gems floating out about. There is not. All right, let's probably grab this guy then. Although. I'm going to grab this guy instead. He actually has a little bit more of a chance, and I'm uh, he was a top nine. Top nine. Well, Woodworth and uh, Keen are both insane pickups, so I'm not mad about that at all. Let's sim to the resign phase. Get this team going. Uh, let's uh, let's resign the coach. I'm gonna say that you are probably fine. Yeah, you're very very much fine. Uh, you are my assistant. He might not want to be that anymore. I'm gonna offer him as much money as I can, and um, hopefully he'll say yes to this. I have a feeling that he's gonna say no now that he has the kind of rating that he has. He's also getting a little bit older there, but I'm going to try it either way. Wow, we're actually keeping ourselves within our budget for some weird reason. All right, let's see what he says to this. He's now rated as an A overall, an A minus overall, so he really probably won't say yes to this. I have a bad idea. Um. All right, let's uh give everybody a contract. All right, I'm going to do this and I'll be right back. All right, that's a uh, contract sent out to all of those guys. Uh, I have no players who are about to come free agents this week. We have to uh, go do some negotiating, though. I don't think 
there's too, too much we have to do here, guys. Now, this is going to be a big contract. This is going to be a big contract. So we do have some contracts coming this year that are fairly decent size. Now, Ghost doesn't want an extension. What are you looking for? He's looking for five years. How much money do we have to spend? We have uh, 14 million to spend. I don't really know if I want to spend it on Ghost. Oh, you want to come back, so we'll just offer you what you want. Sure, I don't really care. Um, You, I'm going to release. Joseph, I'm going to release. Janice, I'm going to offer a contract. Let's give him his first entry level. There you go, my friend. Um, in goal, there's nobody. So let's just uh, simulate ourselves up to the day. Um, he was not thrilled with the thing that I offered him, which means I may have to get myself a goalie in the future, but that's fine. Accepting everybody. You're welcome. You're welcome. These are all the um, scouts. And somebody that wanted to sign it with me. All right. So it should just be um, ghost here. Now, just taking a look at my contract there, I think I'm going to sign him. Let's try um, one year at six. That is a tradable contract. No, stop that. Go away. The tradable contract, if he says yes to it, then I'm fine with it. He has said yes to it. Hopefully he will be OK with me trading that away right after we sign it. Now, people are going to be mad at me if I do that, but that's fine. Sim to free agency and see what our team is looking like. Particularly defensively. Can I make a trade now? Now, this is something that is frowned on. I don't know if it's frowned on really in the league, though. Let's see if I go to just like, I don't know if it actually impacts my uh, play at all. So Ghost has no, but no um, value. There is that. OK, so it's going to be one, two, three. Oh, right. Those are our top three. That's right. Um, But wasn't there somebody else? Aren't I missing somebody? Now I'm confused. Bjorn Clark. Oh, of course, of course. Um, well, actually, let's see if Clark will take an extension. Uh, I'm going to take a look at Clark a little bit later on down the line, although. Two years at six, what does that mean, actually? Six times point eight five equals five one. It's not actually that much of a raise. So if he says yes to that, he says yes to that. OK, so we're looking for a top four defenseman, basically. That's what we're looking at. Let's look in free agency. We have nothing uh, in our pool that is really going to work for that because we got rid of our dude. That's why I remember now we've got a Miller here. Wow, there isn't actually a lot of big names out there. We do have Slavin. So let's take a look at overalls. We'll, we'll go through that. They did doesn't just need to be a uh, medium pairing them here. They're mostly big boys here. Um, you shoot left. I wouldn't mind a right handed if it's possible. Cool. Wow, there really isn't a lot out there, is there? Fabrio. You're 30 overall. You're a two way uh, top four pairing. Well, that's kind of what I'm looking for. 
Let's offer him... How much money do we have? 9 million? Let's offer him one year 8 million. 8.5. One year 9. To play for us. And we'll see where he fits after that. I think that's probably the best deal there. Um, before we go anywhere else, so we do have some more contracts to send out. We have 46 contracts, but let's see what is going on in here. Anybody out here that we want? We got a 23 overall here. How are you and what are you? You're a sniper. Welcome. Well, definitely you. Why are you? not grabbed that's interesting uh we also have this guy oh there's that the healy we're gonna grab this healy guy he's he might maybe he's his brother maybe he's his brother let's give him one million for a year uh no picks that's fine anybody else here that i really care about don't have a lot of contract space so i think i'm gonna leave oh there was a 20 year old there top 420 whoa Whoa, why are you like this, my friend? Whoa, please come join me. Good Lord. All right, that's going to be enough uh, picks there. Let's get ourselves up a few page. Whoa, oh, 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 stupid leg on this game, guys. Come on, Fabio. Um, you are going to sign. Sam Healy said no. Uh, Clark said yes. I don't remember that guy. <laughs> I think he might have been one of the big names here. Fabrio said yes. I think that's everybody. At least that's all the guys I want to grab. So let's sim up to the next season and we'll see what uh, the whole uh, team's going to look like and then we'll leave it there, guys. All right, I'm going to bring you back once I have the lines set up. All right, guys, so to make some cap room, actually, because there's a weird cap thing going on right now, which doesn't actually make any sense. Me looking at the 95, we should be totally fine. I'm going to try and uh, ship off Ghost here, try and make this work. Um, we're going to say no to this. I'm just going to try and get a third straight up for him. And uh, yeah, that's going to make that work. I'm also just going to ship off. I want some players to sign. But we actually have so many players right now that there are uh, just some uh, people that I want to get out of here if we can, just to make a little bit of room. Let's see if anybody will take these two guys off my hands. Anybody want you? I just need to make a little bit of room down there. Nobody seems to want them. So let's just find a team that has some uh, space for them on their uh, team. They're not that expensive. They're both AHL contracts, so they should be able to take them, hopefully. Uh, let's see if we can get a fourth rounder for these guys i highly doubt they're gonna say yes to that nope how about as far as a seventh rounder i just want to get them out of here there we go all right so that's uh making some movements we're gonna throw some roster moves in all right so hopefully this will work now so the reason i wanted to do this i'm gonna try and send um this guy down and in the system i want to bring up these two players so um we actually we got this guy uh and the free agency, he was that 20 year old top four. He's a DFD and he is absolutely fantastic. And I forgot to sign Woodworth. So we need to get Woodworth up here as well. Let's confirm that, get these guys going and uh, now we can actually go through and edit the lines a little bit better. All right, I'll bring you guys right back. Okay, I think I've got everything figured out here, guys. Here is what our defensemen look like. We got Mueller here, Bjorn with Clark. Pretty awesome pairing. Then we got Fabro with Healy. And then now we've got this uh, Nakamura with Baron. I'm kind of hoping this Nakamura guy gets up to at least like maybe an 82, 83. And then he can jump up there, take Mueller's spot. And then I can throw Mueller up here with uh, Healy. That's kind of my hope, my hopes and dreams for down the future. Um, hopefully Healy jumps back up here as well. But um, yeah, we still do not have that star defenseman, unfortunately. And uh, we haven't found him yet. We're really going to have to look for him in the future. On offense, here's what it looks like. McGinn, Stanton, Yanis, Wright, Olsen, Hoglander. So Hoglander has dropped back down. Now we have Woodworth here with Byfield and Grebscher Groff or whatever his name is. Quincy and uh, this friendo that we got at the end of last year who was awesome with this guy who we may 
want to take out of here. There may be somebody down in the A that I want to bring up instead. Oh, right, Zach. I forgot about Zach. We need to bring Zach up. There's also possibly this guy. What are you? You are a minor checker. So no, what about Clickhart? Um, we may want, what is he, where does he line up nicely? Not bad on that fourth line. Let's just make sure Zach actually does line up nicely on that fourth line. He does. So let's bring Zach back up. Let's do a little bit of a roster move. Um, or back to edit lines. Uh, let's just do best lines down here then. And then uh, go to roster moves. Let's bring up Zach and see if that solves everything for us. So NHL. Let's try getting Zach up here. Although, just a second here. It's saying that he is a minor checker. What is this guy was up here originally Cahoon here. He is a two way. What do you line up as? Um, actually, he does not do terribly on that fourth line. Let's see how he does up there. We're going to try that. Obviously, they're going to say that we have problems down here. We're just going to best lines it for now. Go up to the NHL and throw him in this spot because I do not like these guys being a uh, there we go. A plus one. I'm not horrified at that, although he is only a top nine, but at 26, he can stick around for a little while. I think I'm going to say that that is probably fine. There was somebody else as well that I was considering. Was it Clickhart? It was. He's a power forward that's not bad defensively. Hmm. We're going to do a little bit more roster moves. We're going to try and bring Clickhart up, and I'll send somebody else down. Who do I send down? Uh, this dude, who is listed as fourth line. But for right now, we're going to try and do this. And then I want Ooh, we also have Jarvis here. I forgot about Jarvis here. Oh, no. Oh, man, we just have way too much potential. Oh, we also have this guy. Oh, yeah, man. Forgot we got this guy. He's awesome. But I want Jarvis. So I want to bring up Jarvis and I wanted to bring up. Where is he? Not this guy. No. Who was I talking about, guys? Click heart. All right, so if that's happening and then in the NHL, I would need to send somebody else down as well. So let's send down Cahoon then. Yes, I got to fix my lines, edit lines. We have to do a little bit more trading here to make this all work, but I'm feeling like this might work. Let's try click heart in here. Still only a plus one, but I like click heart and he at least has. Oh, wait. Maybe he doesn't have the potential that I'm looking for. At least this guy's a top six potential. He's just not very good there. Hmm. Starting lineup. So Woodworth made that terrible. Also doesn't do good. And it was just bad with him on the line, wasn't it? Let's just see. Right, because he's a sniper. Right. OK, fine. OK, fine. We'll we'll, we'll, we'll stick with click heart here and then um, going to defense here. There is Jarvis here who doesn't make it better, but he is pretty awesome. He is an OFD. He does shoot left, though. Is he more important to me than this guy? I don't think so. As a 20 year old, I think this guy is a little bit more important to me, which means that we have some stuff to uh, trade out. Something on special teams has caused a problem. Let's just throw in. Mueller. No, can I just. That's going to change my starting lineup again. Dang it. <laughs> Although not by much <laughs> to be completely honest. Not by much. Quincy, you're down here. There, there. Yeah, like that, <laughs> like that. And I can't make this better, can I? No, can I make this better? No, no. I mean, not that these guys need much more plus overalls, do they? And then on defense, it was already in a good spot. So I'm going to leave it as is. Well, let's take a quick look at our goalies. 
just so you guys know, we have uh, Walston Jari, and then down in the A, we have this guy here, Oleg, who's 22 years old, medium elite. He is getting there, guys. I think he's going to be ready to be our a uh, assistant in the next round there, uh, our backup, sorry. Let's just best lines it down here in the A and see what they're looking like. I actually haven't looked at their defense. So this is what they're looking like on the offense. They don't have a huge amount of guys with a huge amount of potential here. It's a lot of fourth liners and whatnot, but we do have a few guys back here, particularly this dude here, who is not bad. Low elite, two-way, so he could get in there. Does he actually fit? He doesn't fit our scheme, so that would be the one problem with that dude. I'm gonna do that. In fact, I'm gonna do that. There we go. Um, what do you look like? You are listed as a top six offensive defenseman. Ooh, but look at those defensive stats. Oh, he's so weirdly built. I do not care. <laughs> I do not care in the slightest. We're just going to leave him down there. On that note, this has been too long of an episode already. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Finally, finally, we have won ourselves a Stanley Cup. Uh, hopefully we can make it a dynasty, get a few more wins under our belt before we call this season quits. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next Friday. Bye, everybody.